felt that design should be for everyone. So when I started open my practice in New York 16 years ago, I was determined to do some very mass-produced commodity and to really try to work with products that really touch everybody. I decided one of my agendas was to really create what I call designocracy, which is really to democratize design. Design is what we can bring to everyday life, to human beings, that to have a more pleasurable, more interesting life. And design sometimes can be as simple as just making someone feel better or smile when they see a space or they walk through a door or they sit on a chair or they touch a laptop or any of these objects that are around us. And in my work, I use a lot of color. The human eye can supposedly perceive 16,000 colors. Then why aren't we exploiting that sense? If you walk through a city, you just realize how we have made a, a relatively gray world. We're losing an opportunity to enjoy a sense that we've been given. Well, I always feel that all objects and products should have a very human connection. So I use a lot of soft and organic forms and I've developed over the years what I called Blobject, which is a, a kind of an extension of the human body in a way. And I think for us as human beings, we tend to like amorphous work because it immediately communicates directly to us on many levels. is a multi-dimensional world and non-linear. You know, a straight line doesn't exist in nature. And at the same time, all architectural components for the last century now have been built on a Cartesian grid. And a Cartesian world is a linear world. When you came to me, the idea was to really comment on this idea that we created a Cartesian world. I thought to make windows that are kind of organic, amorphous gestures all around a building. I imagine, you know, if you woke up and you looked and all of a sudden you have this massive, huge, kind of bobbier-shaped cutout looking at outside of your view. I think it could really bring a momentary sense of feeling alive. So I think at the end of the day, design for me is really about innovation and about moving us or evolving humanity. All our products, our things, our architecture, our spaces should have a resonance, a connection, a message about the time in which we live. And we, you know, and I see collectively, we're building a better material.